guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I got my three kids for Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. I think it's a super fun, kind of cheesy, but really fun holiday where you can show love to all of your loved ones, all of the people that mean the most to you. So I kind of like to spoil my husband and my kids. It's just fun. I'm also one of those people where like gifts is my love language and I love to buy people things and shop for people and pick out things that I know will bring a smile to their face. It brings me joy. So it's just a little fun thing that I like to do. And you know, it can be simple. You don't have to go overboard. I'm going to be showing you guys what I got. I shopped at Target and Dollar Tree. So very affordable, very budget friendly. So let's start off with the candy because it's Valentine's Day. Of course, you have to have chocolate or candy. Um, so Target has been having some really good deals leading up to Valentine's Day in the Target Circle app. They had like 25% off of all the Valentine's Day candy. So that is where I got my kiddos their um, candy. So, and I, they had really, really cute variety. I actually did like a shorts video here on my YouTube channel showing a lot of the like heart shaped candy boxes. Some are chocolate, some are not because they had such a big variety. So my five-year-old, let's start with her. She is obsessed with baby Yoda. And so I found this Mandalorian baby Yoda heart shaped candy box at Target and this actually has, it's not chocolate, it's gummy frogs. Apparently Baby Yoda, I, she's big into Star Wars, her and my husband, her dad, that's like their thing. I'm not so much a Star Wars fan, but from what she's told me, Baby Yoda eats these little frogs. So I think that she is going to think this is hilarious and get like the biggest kick out of it. So this was her big candy option. My son, he is seven and he is obsessed with Mario. So I found this at Target and this one is actually like a metal tin. So he could keep this, um, I don't know, he could put little toys in it or stickers or whatever. But I kind of like that it's reusable. Um, the Baby Yoda one, she could probably keep this and use it also, but it's just cardboard. Eventually it will probably end up getting crushed. But this one is Milk Chocolate Hearts. And I think that they're individually wrapped, which is kind of cool. So I know that he's going to love this. And then my oldest daughter, she is nine and she is obsessed with Hello Kitty. Like she just loves Hello Kitty. And I tried so hard to find a Hello Kitty, um, like heart shaped candy box and I could not find one at Target. However, they did have this and I thought that this was adorable. So this is a cup little cutesy cup with a little straw and it actually has candy inside of it but it's not chocolate it's like a bunch of swirl lollipops it looks like there's one two three four five six it looks like there's six in there i don't know if you guys can see that very good but they're like the rainbow swirl lollipops and this is just adorable i know she is going to love this so much and probably want to use it and drink out of it every single day so to me i think this is even better for her than finding the heart-shaped candy box so this is her candy item and it's so so cute definitely check out target if your kid is into like a certain character or whatever because they had so many options another thing that i got for all three kids at target are the little M&M minis. These were super cheap. They were also like 25% off, which made them like, I don't know, close to a dollar. But my kids love the little M&M tubes. And so I got one for each of them. Another thing that I got them each at Target because this was also 25% off and it made it like, I don't know, $2 and some change. But it is cotton candy and they're like big tubs. It says one ounce, but like these are huge tubs of cotton candy and there was strawberry. Oh, these are both cherry. The other one that I got is strawberry. Um, but yeah, the kids are gonna love those because they love cotton candy and they hardly ever get cotton candy. Like that's kind of a rare thing for them to get. So I think they're gonna be pretty excited with these. Okay, now this I found at Dollar Tree the other day. I happened to be there buying some other things um, and I saw this like in the checkout aisle and I thought this would be really fun for the kids. This is um, Kool-Aid Sour Gum, and it's a three-pack, so it's perfect. So it was kind of an impulse buy, but I figured I would just grab it. 
and it's not really Valentine's, you know, themed, but I would just throw it into their little Valentine's Day goodie bag because my kids love gum and they are always eating my gum and I don't want them to chew my nice minty gum. So I thought that they would think this is fun and I'm going to open this and show it to you, but the package is being hard to open. Okay, I got my scissors to open it. Oh, it's actually, how did I not notice that? It's a four pack. I thought it was a three pack. Oh, I guess I was reading where it says three fruity flavors. So anyways, let's look at the flavors. We have blue raspberry. We have watermelon. We have green apple. And then there's another blue raspberry. But they smell very strong. They smell sour. They remind the smell reminds me of Sour Patch Kids. So I think my kids are definitely gonna like this. Each one has five sticks, so it's just a fun little thing. I might give the other one to my husband since it came with four. So anyways, that was at Dollar Tree. Um, so now that's kind of all of the things where they all got like, you know, one of each of the items. Now I did get them some like personalized individual items. So let me show you my five-year-old. I found this at Dollar Tree and I think it is so cute. It says, you have my heart and I love the top of it. Looks like a donut. How cute is that? She had another one that was similar to this, but you know, when they're from Dollar Tree, they don't always hold up that well. Like the other one, it did hold up for probably like a year until it got to the point where I was like, we probably need to get rid of this. So this one, if it lasts a year, great. But how cute is that? I love it. She loves donuts, so it's perfect for her. I also found this at Dollar Tree. It's a towel scrunchie. And my girls both have long hair, like my own, and um, they take showers at night and they don't like for me to dry their hair. They hate that, like they say that the hair dryer is too hot even when it's on like the lowest setting. Um, but they also don't like like the feeling of wet hair. So I always will put their hair into like a bun or a braid or whatever. And so I found these towel scrunchies and I was like, that is perfect because it will soak up and absorb the water where as a regular scrunchie your hair tie won't and they were cute valentine's themed so i got that for her and then both of my girls love like lip balms you know fun chapsticks and stuff like that so i also found this at dollar tree and how fun is this it's a little lip balm that is like shaped like a little drink looks like it has little ice cubes or maybe fruit chunks in it in the straw and i'm guessing this part comes off and it just says that it's sweet flavored. But I thought that this was really fun and I know my girls will enjoy that. So that is what I got um, my five-year-old. Now for my nine-year-old, she pretty much got the same thing. She also got a towel scrunchie. Hers is a little bit different pattern. And then she also got a um, little chapstick, but this one is like a donut shape and it's the it says the flavor is donut worry be happy so maybe it tastes like donuts i don't know and then the last thing i actually found her at target she's so funny because she's nine so she's like right on the cusp of becoming like a preteen and she definitely over like the last i don't know a couple months we've noticed that she's definitely like more i guess noticing her appearance and noticing like her peers appearance and like she's getting more into like she cares what she looks like and what she wears and how she does her hair whereas you know up until a few months ago she really didn't care I could pick out her outfits I could put her hair however I wanted to but now she has an opinion on it so it's kind of fun seeing how she you know is becoming her own little person and so I guess bucket hats are back like this was a thing when I was her age apparently they're back now and they're trendy again and she one of her friends has one and she really wants one so I actually found this one at Target on clearance I don't know if you can see that or not but it was three dollars and sixty cents so I thought that was a good deal and it's just black like a corduroy kind of material with a little flower on it so not super Valentine's Day-ish but I didn't want to save this for her Easter basket because to me it looks wintry with the black and like the corduroy material so I feel like you know she doesn't have that much more time that this will be I guess season appropriate I feel like you know it looks a little bit more for winter than for spring so I didn't want to save it for her Easter basket so I figured I'd go ahead and throw it into her little Valentine's Day goodie bag Okay, and then for my son, 
I found him on Amazon, this pack of Sonic themed Croc shoe charms. So my kids wear Crocs, like they live in them for the spring and summer. As long as there's not snow outside, they are in Crocs. They love Crocs. And they all love the little, you know, charms that you can decorate your Crocs with. Well, my son, we're not wearing Crocs so much right now because it's winter where we live and we do have snow. Um, but he needs like a new pair. His ones from last year don't fit him because he's growing like a weed. So I have to buy him new Crocs for the spring. And so I figured I would go ahead and get this pack of Sonic Charms. And I'm going to show you guys what they look like. And then he will have them when he gets his new Crocs. And he can decorate them. But they're really fun. We've got Sonic. We have Tails. Sonic and Mario, that's his two things. That's what he's obsessed with. We have Amy, and I've had to learn all of the little character names. Another Sonic. So like, this is a huge pack and they're all assorted and I found it on Amazon for like, I think like six bucks or whatever. So it's a pretty good deal, much better deal than the actual Crocs brand. That's super expensive. So I got him that and then I also ordered this off Amazon because I tried to find him a coloring book at Dollar Tree and they really didn't have any that like he was into and since he loves Sonic so much I found one on Amazon it was pretty cheap um but all of my kids are very like artsy like they all like to color and draw and stuff like that and he really hasn't had a new coloring book in a while so I thought that he would enjoy that and then the last thing I found this on clearance at um Target and it is like a I don't know. Blind bag. It's called a Squishum. So I think it's like a squishy character. I think I've gotten them these like maybe for one of their stockings one Christmas. It looks familiar. But it has like some of the games that he likes to play. Like I know that the Brookhaven thing, that's from Roblox. And some of these other ones are different like video games or whatever. So it says it's the top video game. So it's a character from one of these games. You don't know what, which one it is until you open it. So he loves stuff like this. He loves little collectibles and all the little characters. Here's an example of some of the characters. And he is such a little gamer boy. Like he know, he'll know all of this stuff. Even though I don't, he'll know it. And he could tell you like all the facts about it. So I thought that would be something fun for him. So that is kind of everything that I got for their goodie bags. So they got, um, you know, a couple candy options and then some non-candy options. And like I said, you don't really need to go overboard, but it's just fun for me to put these together, even though, you know, we had Christmas and then Easter's coming up. So I try to keep it on the down low. So each of them got the three candy items and then the three non-candy items. And that is plenty for them. Now I found these cute little gift bags at Dollar Tree. They have the cutest, you guys. How cute are these? This one is my favorite. We go together like milk and cookies, but it's a two pack. And so the back ones are just kind of more simple, but I love going to Dollar Tree for gift bags because one, they're $1.25. Two, they usually come in a two pack like this. So it's literally such a good deal. And then um, I also got them their cards at Dollar Tree because I refuse to pay five, six, seven dollars for a card at Target or even Walmart. So Dollar Tree is where it's at. Some of their cards are a dollar and then some of their cards are two for a dollar. So it just depends which one you want to get, but it's the best. So I picked out cards and me and my husband will both sign them. But this I got this one for one of my daughters. With a cute little dog on it. I got this one for my older daughter. Thought it looked kind of tweenish. And then this one for my son. So that is everything that I got my kids for Valentine's Day. And then I figured while I have all this stuff kind of laying in front of me here, I would just quickly show you what I got my husband because I did get him some things too, but I'm not going to do a whole separate video. So I got him a card at Target whoop, or at Dollar Tree as well. And then I got him at Dollar Tree. They had a bunch of candy options also. And in the past, I have gotten the kids candy options from Dollar Tree. However, this year I was just wanting to find 
like character themed ones for all of the characters that they're into. Um, so that's why I didn't get them from Dollar Tree. But my husband's favorite candy, he loves these Mike and Ikes. And so I saw these little Mike and Ike Valentine boxes at Dollar Tree. So I wanted to grab that for him. And then they also had these at Dollar Tree and these are like his favorite. He loves this Black Rifle Coffee Company. It's They make really good coffee and they support veterans, which he is passionate about. And so they had these, which is the espresso mocha, like, you know, um, iced latte or, you know, drinkable latte, whatever. So he is gonna be super excited about that. And then I got him at Target. His favorite cake is red velvet. He loves red velvet, but I don't like it. <laughs> and so I hardly ever like make it. It's not really something I make a lot, but I saw these little red velvet sandwich cookies with cream cheese flavor filling. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is right up his alley. He will love it. So I got those for him. And then I got him, his favorite, other favorite candy is peach rings. And I saw where they had these gummy peach hearts. So they're like peach rings, but they're heart shaped, which I thought was really cute. And all of this stuff from Target, this um, and the cookies and the other thing I'm about to show you, they were also all 20% off. So it's like super cheap, such a good deal. And so then this is the other thing that I got for him. This is just the Target brand. This favorite day is Target store brand, but it is the Valentine's collection assorted chocolates. He loves to get like a box of assorted chocolates like this. Like he likes Russell Stover, but I'm like, I don't wanna pay Russell Stover prices. When I think this was, I don't know, $3 or something. It was really cheap with the discount. So that is what I got him for Valentine's day. And everybody has a little something and it's so fun. Okay, so that is everything that I got. I hope that this inspired you, maybe gave you a few ideas if you're shopping for the kiddos in your life. If you like watching these types of videos, I would love for you to subscribe if you're not already. I do tons of gift videos here on my channel. I do them for my kids' birthdays, for all holidays, for Christmas and everything. I have an entire playlist on my channel of different like gift giving videos, so if you need need even more ideas, definitely go check out that playlist and please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you here in my little corner of the YouTube world. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. That really does help out my channel and I appreciate it so much. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.